Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. And even though we are now currently in the new year, I thought I would take a few minutes to look back at Christmas 2023 and share with you guys all of the amazing gifts that I received from my family this year. So that's what we're gonna do today. It is a Christmas haul. Before we get into that though, if you have a quick second, go ahead and hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. But with that said, let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right in to my Christmas 2023 media haul. All right, so I will mention I probably have a couple more gift cards coming my way because we haven't done Christmas with my other side of the family yet, my wife's side. But I will mention I did get a couple of really great gift cards from my wife and my mom. Amazon gift card, we got 25 bucks and then 50 bucks to Second and Charles. So gift cards are great. I know some people don't like giving or getting gift cards, but I am such a big gift card fan. I am always happy when I get a gift card. So love getting those. We actually went to Second and Charles the other day. Couldn't really find anything when I was there, so I didn't end up using it then. But I'm hoping to go to the other Second and Charles Probably not by the time my vacation ends, but hopefully in the next couple weeks here and just burning through that 50 bucks I got from my wife. So yeah, very happy I was able to pick up or receive rather a couple of really great gift cards. Let me show off the only book I received this year, but it's an excellent one. This was from my sister and my brother-in-law. We have Opposable Thumbs, How Siskel and Ebert Changed Movies Forever. And this one is written by Matt Singer. This is actually a relatively new release that I was I had in my hands a couple times while I was at Barnes & Noble recently, but I decided to hold off on it. I was thinking, you know what? It's kind of expensive at almost 30 bucks. I'll just wait until the paperback release or until there is an audiobook released, but hey, even better, I got it for Christmas. So really looking forward to checking this one out. Matt Singer, of course, is a well-known film critic. I used to follow him on Twitter back when that was a thing and uh, always enjoyed his film criticism. And so looking forward to checking out the book that he wrote here about Siskel and Ebert, who of course were kind of probably all of our first real movie critics that we watched, us, you know, movie fans that we are. And so, yeah, really looking forward to checking this one out. Such a really thoughtful and really cool book. So happy to have Opposable Thumbs by Matt Singer. So I guess I'll jump over to the video games I got next. So these were ones that I did. My mom always asks for an Amazon wish list, which of course then I give to my family. So they knew these were games I was interested in, but this is one I've wanted since it was announced. This is Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. So obviously, if you are a gamer, you probably understand the history behind this one. These were originally uh, uh, Game Boy Advance games, excuse me, and they were great. I played these back on the GBA and I loved them. I don't think I ever ended up beating either of them, but I really enjoyed what I played of them. Uh, but then of course this was announced and then the war happened with uh, Ukraine and Russia. So they paused this one for like a year, if not a little bit more, finally came out. I've been meaning to grab it for ever since it came out, but I never got around to it. So now it is in my collection for the Switch, and I cannot wait to revisit this. I've heard that there are some, I guess we'll call it like setting uh, accessibility settings that make the games a little bit easier, which is what I need. I always play on easy because I'm just looking to have a good time. So yeah, very excited. I was able to grab or able to uh, have this one given to me. Cannot wait to try it out once again. We have Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. I'm so used to saying like picked it up because I do haul videos all the time, but these ones are actually gifts, so I need to correct myself. But anyway, next up here is the other Switch game I received, and this is Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. I am a huge Super Mario Brothers fan. The original is one of my favorite games of all time. I just adore it. Super Mario World, another great one. Uh, and I recently picked up Super Mario Wonder on release date and beat that within, I don't know, a week or two. Absolutely phenomenal game. And so the only, and I have beat New Super Mario Brothers, which is the other 2D one on the Switch, but the only one I didn't have on the Switch is Super Mario 3D World. The first game I ever beat on my Switch was Super Mario Odyssey. Another brilliant game. So this one I'm looking forward to because I've never played this. I know it was available on 
uh, Wii U initially, and I actually might even own that. I'm not 100% sure, but it's the Wii U, so like I just I never play that at all. So yeah, this should be a blast. Cannot wait to check this one out. We have Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. This next one I got on PS5, and I've heard nothing but great things about this. This is RoboCop Rogue City. So I am a huge sports video game fan and a huge first person shooter gaming fan. And so this falls, of course, into the FPS genre and it's RoboCop. So I mean, like what's not to love here? This is more of a like budget release from everything I've seen on it, but it's supposed to just be a heck of a lot of fun. And that's exactly what I'm looking for in my video games. I don't need something too terribly hard. I don't want something too terribly long. I want something that's relatively easy and just a good time to play, which is is why I cannot wait to check this one out. I actually, I've been playing my PS, I'm always an Xbox guy, but I have been playing my PS5 a lot more recently because I ended up grabbing Madden 24 on my PS5. So I've actually been playing my PS5 quite a lot recently. So yeah, looking forward to checking this one out. Cannot wait to try it. We have RoboCop Rogue City, and that is the last of the actual games that I've received. The last video game related item I got though is this one here from my wife. I received the backbone. So if you don't know what this is, this is an iPhone in the middle here. And so it turns your iPhone into basically a controller with tactile controls. So I'm able to play Roblox with my daughter. I'm able to do that with tactile controls as opposed to using touchscreen, which I am dreadful at. Funny enough, my daughter can't use a controller very well, but she's an expert when it comes to touchscreen usage. I am the exact opposite. So this was one that I asked for and was very happy to receive. It's actually working very well. When I first got it, I was super disappointed because I'm like, I have to take my phone out of the case to use it? Like, that's not gonna happen. I realized then there were actually replacement like grips on the inside that you can swap out that came with it. So it fits perfectly now. And I have used it multiple times. I was actually, the first day I got it on Christmas day, I actually was trying remote play from my PS5 of Madden 24. Remote play is terrible. Like I hate remote play, but it worked and the control worked great. So that was cool. But I, admittedly, I have been playing Roblox the most with it so far. Uh, I was actually doing that a little bit before I started filming because my daughter was playing, uh, playing and asked me to join in. So yeah, anyway, I have a tactile controller for my phone, which makes me very happy. This thing is great so far. So the last gaming related item I picked, I keep saying it, I received is the backbone for my iPhone 15. All right, so over to the movie side. And actually, I have just realizing, I think I have less movies than I did video game things, but that's fine. I have a billion movies anyway. So the first one here is a movie I've been wanting to see for the absolute longest time. It apparently, if this is one where like, if I watched this before I watched Joker, I would have hated Joker. At least that's what everyone says. So I'm finally gonna check out The King of Comedy from Martin Scorsese. Like I said, this is the movie that apparently has inspired Joker the most. This in Taxi Driver is supposed to be a mix of those two. Now, I'm not an idiot. Obviously, I saw the homages to Taxi Driver. I love that film. It's absolutely wonderful. That said, I've not seen this one. So this was one I added to my list, and I'm very happy my mom grabbed it for me. Cannot wait to check it out. It looks like it's going to be very interesting. Like, I don't know. It looks like the Joker on the back already. So like, I'm super intrigued to check this one out. So yeah, happy I was able to receive this one. This is The King of Comedy. I'll show these final three together because they're all part of the same series. So if you guys watched my last vlog I put up in 2023, I mentioned in there that I grabbed Iron Man on 4K Steelbook. One, it was on sale for 10 bucks. And two, it was just getting a little bit more difficult to find the standard release, at least on Amazon and Best Buy. So I didn't know what I was gonna do because those were like the only three movies I needed to have all of the first, I think three phases of the Marvel Cinematic Universe on 4K. Fortunately, my wife heard my complaining, and so she ended up grabbing me Iron Man, Iron Man 2, 
and Iron Man 3. So she got me all three of them in separate releases on 4K. So I am very happy about this. Yes, I did already own Iron Man, but I picked it up like days before Christmas. So that's not her fault. And honestly, I'll hold on to it because it might be something that's worth more than 10 bucks, maybe a year from now or six months from now, whatever it is. And I've been doing a lot of reselling. So we'll see, maybe it'll gain in a little bit of value. And it was only 10 bucks, not the end of the world. So yeah, uh, so very happy to have all three of these. Now, like I said, I think I have the entirety of the first three phases of the MCU in 4K, and it's the normal releases that I've gotten over the years. So that was the other thing about Iron Man was that it was a steel book where all of my other MCU films are in really, at least for the first like few phases, they look like this. And so I'm happy to have these versions of them. No slip covers, of course, but given how far out it's been, that was exactly what I expected. So yeah, Iron Man 3 and Iron Man 2, I don't love them. Iron Man, absolutely adore it. I mean, it's really what kicked off the whole superhero craze when that one released back in 2008. It was just kind of a revelation at the time. And I think that gets forgotten nowadays with the oversaturation of the superhero genre. But yeah, you know, great film. These two, I need to watch them again. I think I've only seen each of these once and I wasn't the biggest fan. But yeah, looking forward to having all of these in the collection and checking them out again. One day I will go through the entire MCU on 4K. But yeah, so so very cool gift for my wife to have the entire trilogy on 4K. So that is going to wrap up all of my 2023 Christmas gifts. All right. So I think that is a pretty darn good haul. I got so many cool things. And like I said, I probably have at least one or two more gift cards headed my way. So no clue what I'm going to get with them. I, I need a new sound bar for my living room, but that's so much money. I'm just holding off on that until we get past this like holiday season here. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my gift cards. It'll probably be some more boutique releases. There are a couple uh, from Arrow that came out last year that I've still haven't picked up that I want to. So we'll see. I'm, you guys will see them in an upcoming haul video, I'm sure. But thank you guys so much for checking this one out. And thank you to my family for these amazing gifts. I really do appreciate it. But with that said, guys, if you enjoyed this one, go ahead and hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. And more importantly, let me know down in the comments what you ended up receiving this holiday season. Anything cool from family or friends? I would love to hear about it. Maybe you bought yourself something awesome. Let me know about that down in the comments below as well. But like I always say, I don't just talk one media type as displayed here. I talk all things media, books, movies, video games, graphic novels. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>